So I have another low carb ketogenic meal that I want to share with you today. How about a peanut butter bacon burger? That sounds interesting. Keep watching. All right. Yes, you heard me right. A peanut butter bacon burger. What is that all about? Well, this is something my son introduced me to about 10 years ago. One of the local uh, burger joints down near the university he was attending at the time offered this on their menu. And when he first told me about a peanut butter, butter burger, I, I said, no, no, you, know, you can't put peanut butter on a hamburger, can you? Can you? So he invited me down and I enjoyed a burger with him. And yes, you can put peanut butter on a hamburger. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to fry up some bacon. I'm going to uh, grill up a hamburger and I'm going to put peanut butter on it. So what makes this a low carb meal? The bun. It's not going to be a traditional bun. It is going to be a low carb ketogenic bun that I baked at home. I haven't yet perfected the recipe that I can do it out in the woods, although I am working on that. But this bun works out really well. I will provide the recipe for the bun, of course, in the video description. But how simple is this? A burger, bacon, and a little bit of peanut butter on a bun. All right, let's get started. So making this uh, lunch of mine, this uh, peanut butter bacon burger is a couple of stages involved with it. And, and at the same time that I'm doing this, I am also recording a demonstration video for the Wicatech Storm Fire. So watch for that in a separate video. So uh, in that video, what I've been demonstrating is how to use it with alcohol, now with wood pellets. And then for the next segment of, the, of that video, as well as the cooking video, I'll be using wood to grill my hamburger on. So the well, wood pellets are well engaged inside right now and it won't take very long to heat my pan up for the bacon. I think I'm going to need some gloves nearby of course. Now I didn't bring a whole a lot of bacon out for this. You don't need a whole lot of I guess really this is two full slices that I have cut in half so four separate pieces of bacon or four short pieces of bacon I guess. Because once they Grill down. They'll be smaller, of course, because this isn't the main part of the meal. This is really just the added value. Now, those pellets are generating a lot of heat, so I am going to have to watch this closely that it'll burn my bacon. And uh, I made a bit of a rookie error. I didn't bring tongs. I brought my spatula. Well, maybe you'll be able to use a fork for this. But this is, I'm really missing my tongs, and I don't have enough time to craft a pair of bushcraft ones up to make this work. Yeah, maybe my fork will work. Yeah, you can see there's a lot of heat being generated by those pellets. So, not much to see here for a few minutes as I mess with the bacon to keep it from sticking to the bottom of the pan, get that all crispied up, and then we'll go on to the next step of making this lunch. It is hard to beat the smell of bacon being fried up while you're out in the woods. All right, crispy, but not so crispy it's falling apart. There we go. Now I just have to take that out. I'm going to put that in my plate while I wait for the fire to go out in my stove so that I can set it back up to burn some wood down to coals and then I'll be able to grill my hamburger and that's when I'll bring you back. All right, let me cast a little shadow over the fire. Can you see the coals, the hot coals inside there? There's still a little bit of active flame, but there is, I don't know, two, three inches of glowing embers of coals down inside. There's a couple pieces of wood that are still lit up, but uh, they're starting to die down. There, it's died down enough that I can go on to the next phase of cooking, which is, first off, I'm going to reinstall the fuel port cover. Did I get that on? Not quite right. There we go. It's on now. And then I can put my grill on. And this is an accessory grill that is sold by Wicatech. For that, I'm going to put gloves on, though. And uh, give that a second for the, for the grill to get a little warm before I throw the hamburger on. There are notches in the top of the stove that accept the grill so that it stays in place and doesn't move around. So there's still a little bit of flame there, but if I am cautious and keep the burger moving, 
uh, at least until it starts dripping fat and then of course it'll it'll really start to flare up but uh, once again if I keep it moving I should be okay so there is my burger going on to the grill that's a good sized burger and it just fits on the grill just big enough for one person and it is sizzling so all right so there's nothing more to see at this point because I'm just going to have to keep flipping the burger over and over to make sure it doesn't burn, doesn't stick, doesn't get too charred. And uh, then we'll bring it back for the next stage. One last look at my hamburger grilling. There's actually no wood burning at this point. It's just the coals. But the flare-up is from the fat in the hamburger. A little charred on the outside. But not too badly so. All right, that burger is ready, coming off. Well, now it's time to assemble my meal. And when I do, I'll uh, come in for the taste test. All right, so my burger is ready, my bacon is ready. It's actually, it's been ready for quite a while and it's cold. This is the bun I was talking about. It is a ketogenic bun. I'll give the recipe, almond flour and a few other ingredients. Look how nice that looks in on the inside, right? Even has the uh, proper seasonings on top for a nice burger bun. Yeah, these cook up very nice. Again, I'll try and get this made so that I can, uh, or the recipe to a point where I can do this in the woods. All right, so to make this a peanut butter burger, you can put on anything you want. In fact, I called my son the other day and said, what did you use to get? And he'd get tomatoes and ketchup and all that type of thing. But uh, uh, I'm just gonna go plain today. Now, the issue I'm having here, as you can see, is I use natural peanut butter because it doesn't have any sugar added. And natural peanut butter, melts <laughs> you know it's very it can be very liquid when it's warm outside so rather than apply it to the burger i'm going to apply it to the bun itself there's my burger going on my bacon going on oh man mm. yeah that turned out nice just had a little taste okay push it all down oh look at that Look at that. Okay, let's get ready for the taste test. All right, here we go. The peanut butter bacon burger on a keto bun. So honestly, this is something you could do if you're not on keto just as easily. Just use a regular hamburger bun. You may just want to try some peanut butter. Uh, if you're not on a keto diet and you're not concerned about sugar, I'd recommend using the regular peanut butter. It's a little less messy to work with. But let me give you that close up. Burger, bacon, peanut butter on a really tasty bun. I do have a napkin because this can be a little bit messy. Mm. Wow. So it's been a few years since I went to that restaurant that serves the peanut butter burgers. They were good. I wasn't on a ketogenic or a low carb diet at that time. They were good, but I'm gonna say this right up front. I think this keto bun is what makes this, plus the fact that it's charred over a wood fire out here in the woods. And the same old saying, everything tastes better in the woods, which is true, and how can you beat bacon? It's just the right combination, but it's the bun, I think, that is really making this burger special. Another taste. Mm. Yes, it's a messy burger, if you're wondering. Uh, combination of the burger itself being quite nice and juicy and moist, and the peanut butter. That's why I put it on the bun, so it would soak into the bun some. Mmm. Wow. Okay, this is new for me. Okay, so peanut butter bacon burger on a low carb ketogenic bun made out in the woods on a small wood stove on a beautiful spring day. Just another successful meal. This is great. You know, I, I, I have been endeavoring to cook more complex meals, more something you would do at home that you try to convert to do in the woods. I've never made a burger taste this good at home even on the barbecue at home. They never come out quite like this one did. All right, 
It's simple. Try it at home. Try it in the woods. Let me know if you do. Let me know what you think. As I mentioned, I will put the recipe for the bun in the video description below. Everything else is just things you have already around the house. You can put other things on there. I had put, considered putting cheese on, but I thought too many different flavors there. Uh, yeah, put them in the comment section below. If you have any suggestions for future meals, by all means, put those in the comment section below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.